Okay, so I'm working on a number of work streams right now with um, MarkEdit. Uh, the one that I'm spending a lot of time on working on with the Mac um, is the ability to customize the fonts, uh, which will have a cascading effect of uh, modifying the window so that they're larger or smaller based on the um, fonts that are selected, and also um, making items uh, on pages resizable. So right now, MarkEdit um, doesn't... Uh, Mac version doesn't resize. You can see here as an example, the tool sets a minimum size requirement, but you can resize to your heart's content. And I will be um, setting up the tool so that uh, it starts to remember um, your last screen sizes. Uh, so let's go ahead and show you uh, what I've been working on. Uh, so like the Windows version, there's a language tab now. Uh, that language tab will eventually include the ability to select languages, um, so that will actually change the text found in the application uh, like the Windows version. Um, I haven't quite finished that yet so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna introduce um, at least the the start of that where you can actually change the default font. So if I'm a user and I want to change the default font um, because what uh, is provided in MarkEdit up front is too small um, I can either change the font typing so let's say I want to use a Unicode font um, and then I can change the font size. So let's say um, 13 is too small on the screen that I'm using. I can bump that up to 15, uh, tell it OK. Um, I have to restart MarkEdit because it will um, uh, uh, push the, uh, the new font properties through the application. And so the application has to be reinitialized. But when you restart MarkEdit, you can see here that the Fonts are bigger, the screen's resized, um, and if I don't like that, I can go ahead and size the screen to my liking. Um, I have not propagated this yet through all of the um, application. Uh, just uh, um, So the front screen right now is the one that you can see this working on. You can see that I haven't done it with this one, um, but I'm in the process of working through um, the, the code necessary to make those particular changes, so that way you can uh, you'll be able to reset the, the font sizes just like the Windows version. Hopefully that will make um, the accessibility parts a little bit easier uh, for some of the folks who are having some trouble um, reading the screens. Uh, I've also added um, to the tool additional um, font sizes that you can select from. Originally the font sizes stopped at 18, uh, but I've noticed uh, particularly on some of the uh, very high resolution laptops um, that these font sizes uh, just aren't big enough um, in the editor and so you can actually now go in here um, select a new font size uh, and then when you go into the editor um, the uh, data files then that get loaded will get loaded into a, a font that's a little bit larger um, for you to read um, so hopefully again uh, this is to help make it easier to work with the program um, now parts of the tool that aren't impacted by the font changes you'll notice these menu items aren't um, I have no idea how to do that yet uh, it's kind of a quirky Mac thing and um, because these aren't true menus but are more buttons that I've kind of uh, turned into menus um, with some trickery. Um, I'm just not sure how that'll work. You'll also notice up here um, Apple does not allow me to make changes to the system uh, uh, menu so that'll be um, as is. So, And if you decide that uh, what you have here, uh, you, you change your mind, you don't want your fonts to look like this, you can go back to the language um, and set these back to zero and um, the next time MarkEdit opens up, it will reopen using whatever the default uh, system font is. Um, so it'll it'll basically short circuit the process, and the application will um, just go back to uh, what the original um, thing was. So that way you can uh, turn off your uh, font sizes if you want. Um, and as you can see, that that didn't quite work exactly like I'd like it to. Uh, again, still still making some tweaks, but you'll you'll eventually see that when when you uh, zero it out, just like the Windows version, um, it goes back to uh, whatever the this, this defined default system font is. Um, so uh, I've been finding there are certain fonts that are better than others. Um, the Arial Unicode font, which is on the Mac system, um, is probably it's a great font for working within the editor, but I found that it's not as good in the interfaces. Um, within the interfaces, uh, I've, I've definitely become more fond of Google's Notube fonts. 
Um, but there's also other fonts that Apple includes that are that are also just as good. So um, uh, hopefully that'll give folks more options uh, when they're working with the application. And so this is one of those work streams that uh, that hopefully we'll see uh, process uh, through this weekend.